for a molar view, position the receptor parallel to the lingual surface of the molar teeth. Make sure that the distal edge of the sensor is behind the most fully erupted distal tooth. Ask the patient to close gently together onto the bite block. Make sure that the full biting force is on the bite block and not on the cable. Then position the aiming ring close to the cheek and then align the tube head. Careful alignment with the collimator and the positioning ring is essential. Always check from the front, the side and the back that the collimator is parallel with the ring and the notches on the ring align with the notches on the collimator. This is very important to avoid comb cutting. The reason for using a collimator is that it reduces the dose of radiation per image for the patient by about 80%. When doing a premolar bite wing, the sensor is moved as far forward as possible and then in order to get the 3-4 contact, the receptor is angled towards the opposite arch and again ask the patient to close gently together. For this view, we do not line the collimator directly with the ring. If we do it like this, we will get overlapping of the contacts due to the angle of the receptor in the patient's mouth. For this view, when the receptor is at such an angle, alter the horizontal angulation of the x-rays by about 5 to 10 degrees so that you can ensure that the horizontal x-rays are going directly through the contact points. By doing it like this you get the 3-4 contact clearly seen and you also get the contacts open which is of paramount, paramount importance when doing bite wing examination.